Five seconds. CLCDR 17B launch enable flight. Flight. ATC 3, main power disable on. On. T minus 35 seconds. Hydraulics go. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. seconds. Everything is go at this time for the launch of deep impact. T minus 20. T minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of a Delta II rocket carrying deep impact. NASA's journey to unlock the mystery of the solar system's origin. Now passing an altitude of three miles, downrange distance 13 miles, and coming up on 2,000 miles an hour. First stage performance still looking Eight. good, and we have exceeded max Q. All ground start motors have tapered off, and we have reached burnout. And the air starts have ignited, and all six ground start motors have jettisoned. the normal uh, level of disturbance after solid motor jettison and it, that has damped out nicely. We're now passing T plus 86 seconds into the mission. And air start solid motors all burning symmetrically and they've passed their peak chamber pressure coming up on T plus 105 seconds. Stage system still looking good. Now passing an altitude of 19 miles, downrange distance 45, and a velocity of over 4,000 miles an hour. Main engine and verniers continue to burn well, good chamber pressures there, and we are tapering off, reaching burnout of the air start motors. Jettison. All three air start motors have jettisoned. Pressurize the LOX tank. We have uh, reset the relief reset. We can confirm a slow increase in LOX tank pressure. Now passing T plus 150 seconds. First stage performance still looks good. Main engine and verniers still burning well. Nice good chamber pressure there. Everything continues to look good with the deep impact payload on board. The nine solid rocket strap-on boosters have been jettisoned and the deep impact spacecraft is on its way to catch up to Temple One in July. We are now hearing Boeing's Mark Levine in the NASA telemetry lab where real-time telemetry from the vehicle is coming in from the downrange tracking stations. Coming up on T plus 200 seconds, now passing an altitude of 44 miles and a velocity of 8,000 miles per hour. Lights off again. Those errors are expected due to All the right, uh, over to the BC. This is oh. the impactor image at, uh, just prior to the impact itself. It's a, it's a raw image again. Uh, All right, down at the bottom, you can see the X where the 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 uh, auto nav is, is sending the spacecraft. We're getting right. You can see some uh, circular features. X marks the spot where we're heading for impact. And the southern end of the comet, the flyby spacecraft will go right underneath. The spacecraft is not going to last much longer. 
but it's doing pretty well. It's not being buffeted by dust particles. Uh, the camera is not being sandblasted by the particles, at least not obviously. Uh, whoops. Maybe I spoke too soon. Look at the circular features. Uh, this is the highest resolution we're going to get from the impacting spacecraft. It's getting down to a few, about ten, few tens of meters resolution. We're seeing objects uh, very circular. And the spacecraft's doing remarkably well for something that's about to vaporize. Bye-bye, bye 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 Go ahead. We got our expected uh, proper command to have the kill sequence. I'll do that. It's getting closer, closer. Good. We may be getting some serious dust hits, perturbing the telescope, or sandblasting the optics of the telescope. We expect that. Yeah, the image is being degraded. Our brave little spacecraft is in a very hostile environment here. Look at the right, you can see the circular feature. So that we're down to a few meters resolution here. These images will get much, much better as we gussy them up uh, in, in, uh, after the fact with computer enhancements. Okay, I think we're... Okay, we jump back. Fly by science, this fly by flight. We jump back in time. Fine. Do you report when you expect to see the first images on the ground of the impact event? Okay. Yeah, we're going to... The, the impacting uh, images are uh, getting less uh, and less focused. Uh, we're expecting to lose the spacecraft any minute here. But it's doing one heck of a Get job plane, just plane, before software. checking out. Go ahead, play software. I can't Every believe they're paying us to have this much fun. These images are coming right from the science room uh, projection, so that they're not nearly as good as they, they will be. Looks like our intrepid little spacecraft is having some problems with the mirror, probably being sandblasted by the dust particles. It's running it at six miles per second. At that rate, you can go from Los Angeles to New York in just over six minutes, or around the world in just over an hour. We're going not only faster than a speeding bullet, we're going about 10 times faster than a speeding bullet. And that puts Superman to shame. Okay, the image is continuing to degrade. There we go. <laughs> we, we still haven't uh, had a confirmation that we have an impact. That will come a little bit later. We'll first have to lose the S-band signal, and then we're going to have to have confirmation from all of the images. Flyby system. No peanuts, please. <laughs> Team, we got a confirmation. Okay, we got a Go ahead, oh, yeah. 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 
You gotta put that in there, Jeff. Well, it appears we have final confirmation. Uh, picture tells it all. You're looking at the mission. We still have one more spacecraft to worry about, so let's settle down. It's just erupted in applause. Folks here are looking at the images, and they are indeed amazing images. 